Hi, this is Dr. Patrick Cohn with the MGCP Certification Program. I get a lot of questions from mental coaches that are just entering the field about how to get work with athletes and how to build credibility. In this video, I'm going to talk about the first steps you have to take to be a credible mental coach. Thanks. You're watching Peak Sports Video. So I get a question about, well, where do I get started with building my reputation or becoming a credible mental coach? And I struggle with this mightily. I came out of the University of Virginia with a PhD, which is really a teaching degree. And I started my business about two years later after that. And it was like, well, what do I do? Uh, how do I build credibility? How do I get my name in the mix out there? There was guys out there like Revisa and Rotella and Bunker and um, uh, several other mental coaches that were actually doing it in the field. Well, first of all, the most important thing you need to do right away is you need to define your programs. You have to have something to share with coaches. You have to have something to share with uh, individual athletes. So my recommendation is start by defining what your individual programs are and what your team programs or seminars are as well. After that then, in order to build credibility, you want to start to develop all your business documents. You got to look the part. You got to be professional. In other words, you have to have your intake forms, your agreement, your mental coaching agreement, just standard things that you need uh, to look the part and look professional. Another thing that really helped me early on in my career is I started Peak Sports back in 1995, 1996 when there really wasn't a lot of other sites out there. I think maybe Golf Psych was out there, Deborah Graham's site, and maybe Jim Fannin. So there was probably three of us that were actually online at that time in 1995. But if you have a website that's dedicated specifically to your mental coaching business and you can send athletes there, that builds your credibility with your target market or your target population. Finally, another question is, well, okay, how do I get work with athletes? How do I get my foot in the door? One of the places that you have to start is with people that you already know. Tap your contacts. In other words, you were probably an athlete at one time or maybe a coach at one time. You know other coaches out there or you know other athletes that you can talk to that are still in the area of sports or coaching or performance enhancement. You can ask them for referrals to work with those specific athletes. Once you start working with the athletes, the most important thing you have to do is be a credible mental coach. And what that means is you have to do good work with athletes and you have to help them improve their mental game and their performance. I started very early on in my career with hometown golfers that happened to be college golfers or they happened to be professional golfers. Um, people that I grew up with that I knew. And I started working with them on their mental game and helping them improve their mental game. And guess what? They told others, other golfers, about the work that I was doing. So number one, set up your business documents. Number two, if you have the resources, set up a website. And number three, make sure that you do good work with athletes. Hey, if you want more information, I got a brand new program out. It's called Building Credibility. It's specifically for mental coaches, helping mental coaches get more work with athletes and teams. You can check it out at peaksports.com. Thanks for watching.